Hello guys, my name is Asim Morant, and yes, we're back once again, 49ers News, and this 49ers News is based on Julia Jones. He is now gone, um, trading on for the Titans, so well done him. But in our news, we still need to find out something. And as you can see from here, NinersNation.com, written by Jazz Kang, who will be the 49ers third wide receiver in 2021. So let's read it. The Niners missed out on Julia Jones, but still have some uh, high-end talent at the position. So, let's read. Even after missing out on all-pro wide receiver Julia Jones, the 49ers feel good about their pass-catching group. Pro Football Focus is high on the 49ers pass-catchers, ranking the unit as the seventh best in the NFL. Okay. The Niners uh, look to have their top two wideouts in place for years to come. The team took Debo Samuel, the second of the uh, 2019 NFL Draft, and followed that up by selecting Brandon Ayuk, 25th overall last uh, overall last year. That was a good pick. Uh, both players had an uh, intermediate impact upon making the jump to the pros. Here are the numbers from their rookie seasons. Uh, Debo Samuel did 57 receptions, uh, 802 yards, 3 touchdowns, 14 rushes for 159 yards and 3 scores. Ayuk, 60 receptions, 748 yards, 5 touchdowns, 6 rushes for 77 yards and 2 scores. Debo couldn't stay on the field during uh, his uh, some, uh, great year season. He suffered a Jones fracture during the 2020 offseason, which kept him out for the first three games. Sam returned on the fourth game before missing some of the time because of the hamstring issue and also due to NFL's COVID-19 protocols. He then returned for two games before, he, he, uh, before rejoining his hamstring, just one play into the Niners' uh, Week 14 loss to the Washington football team. Samuel finished... Uh, the seasons with 33 receptions uh, uh, for 391 yards and a touchdown in just seven games. Both receivers uh, are uh, YAC monsters but have different styles. Samuel is built like an ox and runs through defense with the ball in his hands. I use his uh, agility and athleticism to get open and he has a smooth ride with his movement. There's no doubt Samuel and I will be at the top of the depth chart uh, if both are healthy, but it will be interesting to see which other receivers will be on the roast in 2021. Uh, Richie James Jr. is under contract for next season, but hasn't shown the consistency you would want from your third option. With Samuel and Ayu out of the lineup, James had a standout performance in Week 9, lost to the Green Bay Packers, finishing the contest with nine catches of 184 yards and a touchdown. James, uh, James has been with the team since 2018, but has mainly been used as a returner. He finished the 2020 season with a highest, uh, a career high in receptions, 23 yards, 394. But the team doesn't seem comfortable using James as its third receiver. Head coach Shanahan and John, uh, general manager John Lynch decided not to bring back Kendrick Bourne. A 26-year-old signed a three-year deal with up to $22.5 million with the New England Patriots after finishing the 2020 campaign with a record highs of receptions 49 and yards 667. Bourne also caught two touchdowns. Another veteran who won't be back for next season is Trent Taylor. The 26-year-old hasn't been there the same since suffering a James fracture after resulting him getting five uh, surgeries to correct the issue. Five uh, surgeries, sorry, to correct the issue. Tyra struggled to get open in the slot and finished the 2020 campaign with just 10 receptions for 86 yards while playing 18% of the uh, offensive total snap counts. Tyler signed with the Bengals earlier in the offseason. Uh, Depth Pierce River uh, Carvcroft was uh, thrust into action due of all the injuries and I've seen catches for 85 yards. It was mainly used in a special teams role. Carvcroft uh, signed a new deal to stay in 49ers for the upcoming season. Shanahan had high hopes for the 2019 third round selection, uh, Julian Hurd, who unfortunately hasn't uh, played a regular season down uh, down since joining the team. Hurd Hunt, Hurd Hunt has back during the 2019 preseason, which caused him to miss his entire rookie campaign. He looked great at last year's training camp, but will be t uh, tearing his ACL. If he can knock off the, the rust after missing back-to-back -back seasons, the 49ers will give him plenty of opportunities to make the mark. The team will also see how uh, Julian Jennings develops going into the uh, his second year. And veteran Travis Benjamin is under contract after opting out of the 2020 campaign due to the COVID-19 threat. Um, another veteran who remains on the roster is uh, Mohamed Sanyu. The 31-year-old has just 17 receptions for 187 yards while playing the Niners and the uh, Detroit Lions in 2020. 
49ers also had Benny Fowler and uh, Andy Jones and Justin Wilkins Jr. Uh, in free agency. Kevin White remains with the team as well. The 49ers have a superstar tight end, George Kittle, who will be on the uh, the, uh, the focus points of the offseason once again, but they could use some pass catching depth on the roster. Um, the over cap uh, currently has the Niners with a little more than 17.8 million in cap space, but that number will decrease once the team signs all of its 2021 draft picks. There are still uh, a few veteran options on the open market. The 49ers could target the top receiving wide receivers as Kenny Stills, Golden Tate, and Danny Amadalula and, and Ashlon Jeffrey. And they are, uh, they are each receiver stats from the 2020 season. So here we go. Stills, Houston Texans, uh, 12 games, 11 receptions for 144 yards and one touchdown, averaged 13.1 yards per reception. Tate, New York Giants, 12 games, three, uh, 35 receptions for 388 yards and two touchdowns, averaged 11.2 yards per reception. Uh, then you've got Danny Amadula, Miami Dolphins, 14 games, 46 receptions for 602 yards, averaged 13.1 uh, 13 yards per reception. Ashlyn Jeffrey, Eagles, uh, 7 games, 6 receptions for 115 yards and a touchdown, averaged 19.2 yards per reception. Who do you think will merge the 49ers' favourite season in 2021? And do you think they'll look into bring another veteran through free agency? Well, from these stats, I'll say Jeffrey Eagles and Stills Texans. But that's only me. So, yeah, that's what I'd have gone for. I would have gone for that. I would have gone for Stills Houston Texans. He did 12 games, 11 receptions for 144 yards and one touchdown. Average 13.1 yards per reception. And you've got Jeffrey... Uh, uh, Alotion Jeffrey for the Eagles, seven games, six receptions for 115 yards and a touchdown, average 19.2 yards per reception. That's what I will go for, one of them. Who, but the 49ers will pick who they want. Um, but we do need good depth, trust me. I mean, like I said, this season will be a um, a very good one because of the, you know, the draft picks that they got. You know, I want to see how the quarterbacks do, but... We have got competition, and we need a third wide receiver. So right now, between the two that I picked, um, you will go for Ashlyn Jeffrey. Seven games, six receptions, 115 yards, and a touchdown average, 19.2 yards reception. So yeah, but that's just me. Leave your comments down below, guys. Tell me who you think the third wide receiver would be. Um, and thanks again for watching. Thanks very much for the 37 subscribers. I'm really fortunate and humbled that you've guys subscribed and subscribed. I'll be doing a lot more 49ers news and I'll be doing other bits and bobs as well and videos um, throughout the weekdays, uh, not the weekends. And um, yeah, thanks for guys for watching and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.